Good afternoon. Welcome to Marty's Tying Bench. This afternoon I'm putting together kits for this week's Vice Squad, and the pattern I've chosen is Tim Drummond's Water Boatman. You may have seen this one in the uh, August issue of Fly Fisherman Magazine. Charlie Craven did an article and tied one up. Uh, Tim's a guide up in North Park and catches some pretty big fish on flies like this here in the fall, early fall after the first couple of hard frosts is a good time to get used to using these things on our still waters. Now I've got a size 10 hook in the fall these things are as big as they're going to get you know, this is about as, the, 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 one of the bigger ones you'd tie. Uh, I like a short shank hook with a heavy wire this is Dairiki's 075 and the heavier wire lets that extra hook gap act as a keel, make this thing ride true in the water. Bead is a craft store bead. Gunmetal's a good color, root beer's a good color. Now I'm going to put five or six turns of 010, 010 wire behind it just to kind of hold that bead in place. And then start off by building a thread down behind it. This thread is Danville's 140. Uh, any black thread will do. The body material is thin skin. And in your kit, I've already cut them into strips. You're looking for one that's two thirds to three quarters the, the hook gap. Now, to get that vinyl off of the paper backing, don't try and pluck at it with your fingernail, just tear it. What will happen is the vinyl will stretch and let you tear the paper. Makes it real easy to separate. Now I like to cut this vinyl down to a tip a little bit. It kind of makes for a neater fold at the back. And just tie it down to I even tied it a little bit down onto the bend. For the flashy material we've got lateral scale. You can see this is kind of a hammered finish. Very bright pearl tinsel. And I'm going to put a strip of that along the back. So when I fold it forward this will be under the thin skin. Dubbing on this is Ice Dub Black Peacock. Very useful color. You should have some of this around for lots of patterns. Chronomids, Copper Johns, and yeah, this is the color that Tim called for in this pattern. Now I've got to build up a pretty good size body and to keep it tight I'm just going to try and do it in a couple of lifts here. You know, Just make one slender and get some more dubbing. And a few extra turns of thread through your dubbing can only help hold it in place. Now you want a little bit of bulk back here at the end so when you fold your materials forward it uh, makes for a cleaner fold. So let's patch just a little bit. Now my thread's going through the whole thing to keep it firm. You know, one stripe of lateral scale over the back. Now I'm going to use my fingers to make sure that the, I don't get an extra fold out of the thin skin. And just pull that over the back. You can see the lateral scale shining through. Now the leg material is Spandex, uh, Montana Fly Sexy Floss, any of the spandex legs will do. This one's black. And I'm going to tie this in on my side and have, you know, about a leg's length sticking out. And if you can, you want to get that stuff so it curves towards the body. Now I'm going to pull this across right down in the 
slot and get a couple of turns and you see how that one's pointing forward. I'll just back those off, give this a twist, and now I've got both sides curving towards the body. Now just another touch of dubbing. Now I'm tying down onto the lead and onto some dubbing so I'm going to definitely use multiple whip finishes here. Almost done. I want to trim these legs so that they're just a little bit longer than the body. But don't stretch the legs when you cut them. Keep them kind of limp. There you go, Tim's Water Boatman. Pretty quick tie too.